Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another video for you guys today, and today's video is going to be a full face of Mary Kay makeup because my aunt works for Mary Kay, and so she sent me a bunch of Mary Kay makeup, and I'm really excited to try it out because as you guys know, I have some Mary Kay products and I absolutely love them, like the Mary Kay setting powder. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, please like this video um, and subscribe down below. And yeah, let's get right into it. I'm going to start it. out with the eye primer. This comes in like a box. It looks like this. It's like this. And it is eyeshadow primer base. We're going to be taking this Mary Kay eyeshadow palette. And so the really cool thing about this is I've already like opened to this and looked at everything. And the really cool thing about this is you'll see. But look at the front of this, you guys. Like I am obsessed. Like this is so pretty. But when you open it, I already put, okay, so You can like change out that. It's like a little palette and you it's like a magnet and you can change out the eyeshadows. And so I have they comes they come in like these little the eyeshadows, you can just buy them and they come in these little packs right here. And so when you open them, I don't currently have one in. They come it's like a little eyeshadow that comes in there. And then there's also highlighters and bronzers and contours. So these are the eyeshadows, this is the highlight, and this is the contour. And so, like, let me show you guys, for example. So, for example, this is one of the little eyeshadows. And so, you just have the palette right here. And then, you just, like, put it in, and it just magnet. It's just like a little magnet, and just, like, sticks. And it comes with a mirror, which is really nice. So, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do eyeshadow. So, I think I'm going to take... Need, I'm going to take this eye crease brush from them, which I'm really excited to use. So, for my crease, I think I'm going to just go in... I'm gonna go in with this. I'm gonna, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go in with this color right here as my like base crease color. And I'm just going to apply it to the crease as much as I can. Just blend it. And I like how. I like, these are like really like shimmery shades, and I really like them, they're so pretty, and oh my, these are really pigmented, you guys, really pigmented, so I think I'm just going to apply that into my crease as like a little like base, and then I'm gonna apply a darker color as well. So, let's, I need a blending brush, let's see, so, what is this one, hold on, oh, here we go, I have this Mary Kay eye smudger brush, I'm gonna take that into my crease as well, I'm just gonna use it to blend that out a little bit and then I'm gonna take the all over 
eyeshadow brush that I used and I'm going to take the shade right here oh wait I pointed the wrong one the shade in the middle right here and I'm going to see that yeah so I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply that all over my lid So next I'm going to take like this like chromey gold color with the same brush and I'm just going to apply that to like the outer corners of my eyelid and try to get a little bit of a, oh yeah, a little bit of a darker shimmer. So the eyeshadows that I have are like more shimmer shades and I think they have, they have more matte shades but I personally like shimmer shades better because I usually don't like do like an intense eye so I feel like the, like with intense colors so I feel like the shimmers are really nice for me because I just don't really like to do intense colored looks and these, I love these colors because they're super natural so okay so next I'm taking this darker shimmer brown shade and I'm gonna apply that to the inner corners icy white color and I'm gonna put that in my inner corners I'm gonna be doing eyeliner and I got two liners. One is in the shade Espresso, and one is in the shade Ornate Orchid. Orchard, sorry. So it's like a purple kind of color for this one. And then this one's just like a dark brown. So I think actually. I'm going to go with the purple and see how that looks on the eye just to just to see how that goes. So, I'm going to use a little like it comes with like a little brush, like a little applicator and I'm going to use it. So, I'm going to just see how the purple looks, see if it matches the eye adds a little bit of some extra like an extra little pop I just have some look at look at how pretty that is that's mascara. so mascara so we do have a mascara so this is the lash intensity mascara and this is what it looks like and this is what the wand looks like I've used this mascara before and I remember really liking it so let's apply this I really like this wand as well like it's just like the perfect like shape for my eyes In this mascara, it does not make your eyes like really clumpy. It doesn't even make them clumpy at all. And it really like, look at that. It really lengthens your lashes and I really like, like it. So, for found these little stop. tester, these little testers, I can't talk. <laughs> these little testers in the shade bronze and um 
They're little testers to see if this matches my skin tone. Which we have foundation primer. And this is a, it has SPF in it. And yes. So let's use this. Let's apply it to your face. I'm just gonna like dot it. Oh god, <laughs> I did not expect that. Ooh, this is like a serum. I like primers. We're gonna take this blending brush. This is the blending brush. It looks like this. It has, it's so soft, you guys. So I'm gonna dip into the foundation. And I'm just gonna take the brush. And I'm just gonna blot it onto my face. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to blend it in. Okay, you guys. So I'm back. And oh my goodness. I did not use a beauty blender. I continued using the brush. And I really liked the brush because the foundation didn't really like sink into the brush. Which that happens with a lot of foundation brushes. It just like really absorbs the product. And it's so nice to like just... We don't have a concealer, so we're just going to skip the concealer part. But, like, I feel like that I don't need really need concealer. Well, let's apply some and see how it applies on the foundation. But this foundation is already, like, pretty full coverage, I would say. It's, like, medium to full. And it gave me really, really good coverage. So, let's just apply that might be using a foundation that's a little light for me I'm gonna use the same blending brush and I'm just gonna blend it out might not work I might have to get a beauty blender Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna just blend this out, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, like, as you can see, it really brightened the under eye, and, like, it applied really, really nicely with the foundation. So, next, we're gonna be baking. So, I'm gonna take the Mary Kay Baking Powder. I'm just gonna... So, let's take... Let's use I'm just going to use a beauty blender for this one. So I'm just going to... Beauty. Sponge and dip. Put that under. Next, let's do brows. I'm really excited for this because we have a brow product. This is the Precision Brow Liner. So let's see how this works. So what I'll probably do is I will show you guys what it looks like and I'll probably apply them off camera and then tell you guys my thoughts just because I don't want to prolong this video because I already think it's going to be very long so I'll be back okay you guys so we're back um so I used the pencil to outline my brows and then I filled it in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And oh my gosh, that was such good liner, you guys. Like, like I never really, like, line my brows. And I'm, like, super impressed. Hold on, I need to get a spoolie. I kind of added too much product. But, like, it really worked in like making like little hairs like it really we're gonna take this powder brush and we're just going to sweep away the powder so we're gonna take the contour in the eyeshadow palette and i'm just going to on my brush and we're gonna contour the nose a 
Okay, you're away from the bush. Mm-hmm. You're really calling to where the trees are. So, now we're going to do bronzer. And I actually have a bronzing powder from them. This is the shade medium dark. So it's just like a brown, medium dark brown. And I'm gonna take, where's my tape? I'm gonna take my, what did I do to this brush, you guys? This is like a brand new brush. Hmm. Anyways, I'll fix that once, when I wash it. So I'm gonna take this tapered brush. I'm just gonna dip into this. And then I'm going to bronze. Ooh, really like. So next, we do not have a blush, but I'm just gonna use my Pixie by Petra blush, blush, and then I'm gonna try. So put this away. Next is highlight. I'm really excited for this highlighter brush. Okay, and so the highlight I'm gonna use is the one in the palette. So we're just going to dip into that. Ooh, that looks so pigmented. Shimmery. But it's also really, like, subtle. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like one of those, like, really, like, buildable highlighters. Where... Oh, Cupid's bow... take the hair down because we're reaching the final we're gonna be doing lips so I have all these colors and I think I'm gonna try them all out cuz I don't know actually maybe I'll like try one like I'll decide like I'll show you guys all the colors and then you'll be seeing them in future videos because these colors are gorgeous and I'll definitely be using them Oh my gosh, you guys, I totally forgot we had this. So, we have this brow tint. So, I'm going to test this out, actually. And see how this looks. Oh my gosh. So, this is... Called voluminizing brow tint okay guys so I'm back I did the eyebrows so I just took the the tint the eyebrow oh, I took the eyebrow tint and just we applied that and then used a spoolie and then I cleaned them up and so they don't look as thick anymore and I really like how that turned out so yeah but I feel like it like really like set my brows like it looks so good now like on point okay sorry let's go with lip gloss lip gloss so the first color we have is fancy nancy this is what it looks like at the end we will choose which one we're gonna use so. The next shade we have is Sparkle Berry. This one is in the shade Golden. Oh, that's so pretty. This is in the shade Sun Blossoms. Which I kind of want to use this one. This one is called Berry Dazzle. Ooh, that's so pretty. A lot of these colors, like these colors, they remind me of like fall. Like, it just makes me want it to be fall. Like, uh. okay, this next is called, this next shade is called Rich Spice. Oh, yeah, this really reminds me of fall. Look at this, you guys. So beautiful. I'm gonna try the Sun Blossom shade. Oh, I really like that. It's like a natural, like, pinky kind of color. 
really like it. But I think over top, I'm going to add the Fancy Nancy color to add a little bit of shimmer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys one of the other darker colors so you can see how that applies. Because I kind of feel like I went with the... Okay, so I just wet that off and I'm going to use the Sparkle Berry shade. And show you guys what that one looks like because it looks the darkest. Oh, yeah. This is more like a red kind of like tint. It looks like I'm not going to add it to the top because I'm going to show you guys a different color and put that on the top. Okay, we're going to use Rich Spice, which was that orangey golden color. And we're just gonna. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I'm in love with this shade. It's like really like an orangey, like natural brown color. Well, these colors look good together. So, yeah, this is the final look. So, I totally forgot to film an outro for this video, you guys, but. I really enjoyed the products and they worked so well and I'll definitely be using them in future videos. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.